Musica. It's one of the most harrowing pages in the classical repertoire. Beethoven's fourth piano concerto, played here by a leading exponent, the Austrian pianist Rudolf Buchbinder. This is his greatest and deepest concerto of all five. The most sensitive, the most emotional, the most touching concerto. He's dreaming of something. He's dreaming of love. He's dreaming of warmth, uh, which he never got. He was always in love with the wrong woman. This was his problem. The second movement is quite revolutionary. It's a totally new type of dialogue between the piano and the orchestra. Nothing like that had appeared before. It's a very intense, dramatic dialogue, which makes this movement particularly original. Florence and the new opera house, which was recently opened to coincide with celebrations for 150 years of Italian unification. And it's all come at a time with the world economy in crisis. Elisabetta Fabri supervised the building on behalf of the Italian government. A theatre is usually seen as an open space when the show is on, but then once the lights are off it becomes a closed space again. Here we wanted to reverse the role of the theatre and music. It's been written that music washes the dust of the day from the soul. It's beautiful to think of this place as a space to come at any time where you can take advantage of a musical space even when there's no show. Go up in this building and you find a fantastic open-air auditorium. It's almost a metaphysical space of absolute purity, of very fine lines where you only see the stairs and the sky. By going up those stairs you can admire the breathtaking view of Florence. And while looking at this wonderful city, the dome designed by Brunelleschi, you capture this fantastic image, which you can take away and treasure when you enter the hall later. Outside the hall, the geometrical volumes are quite rigid, but once you're inside, the hall really takes you by surprise. The hall is much warmer than the outside. It's like an embrace, sharing the space which all converges on the vanishing point, the stage. 